Hello, and welcome to another episode of A Manic Odyssey in this DBT journey. We're looking at ways to describe emotions, specifically anger. This is the first of 10 words we're going to work through describing. We'll look at synonyms, prompting events, interpretations, biological changes, expressions, and the after effects of each word. Okay, anger. Some anger words we use commonly are anger, aggravation, agitation, annoyance, bitterness, exasperation, ferocity, frustration, fury, grouchiness, grumpiness, hostility, indignation, irritation, outrage, rage, vengefulness, and wrath. Here are some prompting events for feeling anger. Having an important goal blocked, you or someone you care about being attacked or threatened by others, losing power, status, or respect, not having things turn out as you expected, and physical or emotional pain. Now for some interpretations of events that prompt feelings of anger. Believing that you have been treated unfairly. Blaming. Believing that important goals are being blocked or stopped. Believing that things should be different than they are. Rigidly thinking, I'm right. Judging that the situation is illegitimate or wrong. And ruminating about the event that set off the anger in the first place. Okay, now let's look at what biological changes can happen as we experience anger. Muscles tighten. Teeth clamp together. Hands clench. You feel your face flush or get hot. Feeling like you're going to explode. Being unable to stop tears. Wanting to hit someone. Banging the wall. Throwing something. Blowing up. And wanting to hurt someone. What can some expressions of anger look like? It can look like physically or verbally attacking. Making aggressive or threatening gestures. Pounding. Throwing things. Breaking things. Walking heavily. Stomping or slamming doors. Walking out. Using a loud, quarrelsome, or sarcastic voice. Using obscenities or swearing. Criticizing or complaining. Clenching your hands or fists. Frowning, not smiling. Mean expressions. Brooding or withdrawing from others. Crying, grinning, and having a red or flushed face. And lastly, some of the after effects of anger are narrowing of attention. Attending only to the situation that's making you angry. Ruminating about the situation making you angry or about situations in the past. Imagining future situations that will make you angry, depersonalization, disassociative experiences, and numbness. That's all for this video. Anger has multiple expressions, and how we experience it and interpret it will be unique to us and our individual experiences with it. The hope is that you will now have a way to recognize and observe anger when it arises, or even better, as it's happening, or before. Knowing is power. And understanding how you experience anger is a crucial step to living in wise mind and reaching our goals for a life worth living. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share these videos with anyone you believe will benefit from these skills and this information. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.